Hey guys, Happy New Year. If you hear some random noises, that's probably fireworks and my crazy neighbors because I'm filming this on New Year's Eve because, you know, why not? Okay, I'm going to be completely and honestly real with you guys. I have not seen a lot of TV shows that are out there and I have not seen a lot of the very overly hyped TV shows that everyone pretty much quotes every single day. I'm pretty sure you guys already have a mental list of which shows those are. But today, I'm going to tell you, uh, in my opinion, some of the best TV shows of 2017, some of the worst TV shows, and the TV shows that were kind of just meh for me. Like I said, there's a lot of TV shows that I have not seen, but in 2018, I will watch those very hyped TV shows. I, I give you my word. Let's go for some of the best TV shows, in my humble opinion, of 2017. My number three and number two were tied, but the first one that I'm going to mention is Victoria. I have been counting down the days till I could watch Victoria. As soon as I found out about the series, I was just hooked and I knew I was gonna be obsessed and they did not disappoint. Victoria is about Queen Victoria when she first meets Albert and when she becomes queen and all of that good stuff. If you guys love Downton Abbey, you'll love this show. It's just, oh, I cannot say how much I love this show. Enough. Number two on the list, also well, tying in with Victoria, is The Crown starring Claire Foy and Matt Smith. Just the cinematography in this show deserves an award. I will link my review so you guys could just watch it. Number one for me, 2017. I feel like a lot of people will forget this one because this TV show premiered literally in like the first week of January. So everyone just kind of, I guess, forgot about it, but I didn't. And that is Sherlock starring the amazing Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh gosh, what a finale. The TV show Sherlock really gets your mind and twists it and just makes you think of something. Then it makes you think of another thing and it's just a mind race and I love it. It. Now, moving on to the TV shows that I thought were meh, not good, but not bad. They're just kind of there. Number two is Riverdale. I tried to get into Riverdale. I saw like one or two episodes of the first season. I was bored out of my mind. Season two was on TV, so I saw like two episodes of it or three. I was bored out of my mind. I'm not into high school drama stuff at all, and even though it's mystery, and again, probably because I was spoiled, so I already know everything about season one and pretty much season two. I don't know if I'm wrong about it because I didn't finish watching the show. This is a bias and a horrible way to judge a TV show because I skipped around. But from what I saw, I was not hooked. I didn't care and I just, uh, I tried to get into the hype. I tried. I wanted to be a teenage girl and get into the hype, but I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Now, with this one, I feel like I'm gonna get so much hate for this. And I know this TV show is the pride and joy of so many people on this planet Earth. But have mercy on me, I will finish this TV show. And that is Stranger Things. Okay, so here's the thing, I'm only four or five episodes in. It's interesting, it's well filmed, the plot is good, the acting, the cast is great. But I mean, it's just, it's one of those shows that I have to force myself to sit and watch. And then once I'm watching it, then you know, I'm into it and all that stuff. But I don't know why, when I stop watching the show or when the episode ends, then I'm like, okay, I kinda don't wanna watch another episode, I wanna watch something else. And I know it starts to pick up towards the end of the season, and I know it's super good and great and it's amazing, and I will, and I promise I will finish watching Stranger Things. I mean, while I was watching Stranger Things, the first season, The Crown came out, and I stopped watching Stranger Things to binge The Crown, which was amazing. And after watching The Crown, I tried forcing myself to finish watching Stranger Things. But I just, I couldn't. Like I said, this is just me right now. Maybe when I finish the series, I will think that it's the greatest show on earth, like everyone says. But yeah, that's just how I feel at the present moment. But that might change. Honorable mentions. Ah, uh, this one's a good one. Vikings. I just got into Vikings. Gosh, what can I say about it? It's just intense. It's gory. It's disturbing at times. But it is one of those shows that after you watch it, you're like, dang, that was a good fight scene. Yeah. With Vikings, it, it depends on what I'm watching. Sometimes it's very disturbing and it's just like, woof, too much. But then other times it's like, yeah. So, yeah. Now on to the worst TV shows of 2017. There are two particular shows that I think could have been so much better, but they just, meh, meh, bleh. So number two on that list, because it's only two, is Doctor Who. I love Peter Capaldi as the Doctor. I thought Bill Potts was a great companion, but just the storyline, considering not too long ago I rewatched the season with Matt Smith and the Pawns, Amy and Rory and River, and watching the latest season, I just, mm, 
The storyline, there wasn't a continuous storyline. I felt like the beginning and the ending, they didn't really connect. And, you know, I just, I liked the old Doctor Who with the incredible storyline that you're just like, dang, that was so good. But I didn't get that with this season, even though the characters were great, but I just, I don't know. Sorry, Doctor Who. I've kind of given up on you. Number one on the list. Ugh, and this is a love-hate relationship, but all right, so with this show, I'm just gonna say I thought this show is well filmed. It's just filmed amazingly. The scenery, the costumes, the acting, it's just gorgeous. It's amazing. It's just eye candy. It's beautiful. And the plot has so much potential, but they have a bunch of these subplots that it just killed the show for me. And that is Versailles. I Oh gosh, I, I tried. There's a lot of things that are just disturbing and it's a very, it's a raunchy show. And I just, ugh. I just had a lot of problems with the show despite the fact that I really tried loving it. There was just a lot of things that I was like, I can't stand these characters anymore. The things that they do, it's just, it's disturbing. And it's just, ugh, I just, I can't, I can't. So let me know in the comments below what were some of the best and worst TV shows that you saw in 2017. Let's talk about it on the comments below. So if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe to post a brand new video every single week, or at least I try to. And all of my social media links will be on the down bar below as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time.